All praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect and one third out there. Brother Obadiah here with a quick sit down. You know, it's, you know, sound like a broken record. You know, we're at the so called 9 11 again. You know, Esau and these other heathens and some of our people, you know, they don't want to forget. You know, get over this shit, man. All right. Why, why can't you just get over it? Why do you have to make a memorial of this year after year? And the vast majority of these stupid ass Americans know that it was a staged thing. But, you know, Esau got to keep those lies propped up and keep that, you know, that engine going. As this was some type of terrorist attack from another nation against this great America. It just kills me, man. So I'm just going, I'm going to make it quick. I'm going to go into a couple of scriptures about it. You know, and then we're going to, it's going to be a done deal. Okay. But, but Esau, get, get the fuck over it, man. Why can't you get over it? You tell us to get over it. All right. This is a one time occurrence. This is not something perpetual that you put. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans in the hardcore bondage up until this day. But you tell us to get over it, man. It's just real hypocritical of these goddamn devils, man. Real quick. Please ask these 3 and 15. That which has been is now, and that which is to be had already been. And Yahweh required that which is past. Okay? You tell us again to get over it, but we're not going to get over it. You can't fucking get over it, so why the fuck should we get over, you know, the oppression, you know, that you cause, you know, the Lord's apple of his eye. But, you know, there's going to be a recompense for it. So that that's why we don't get over it, since you're always bringing it up. You know, why can't we just, you know, just move on? Well, we're not, because it hasn't been a recompense for what we went through. Isaiah. We'll go 10. And I'm going to read verses 1 down to 3. All right. This is for you, Esau. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people. That widows may be their prey. And that they may rob the fatherless. And what will ye do in the day of visitation and in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom would ye flee for help? And where will ye leave your glory? All right, unrighteous decrees. You know, Esau set up this false flag, you know, to set up unrighteous decrees to go into, uh, the Middle East, so-called Middle East, you know, to put their influence on there and to g gain control and to get to all, you know, every, every brother, y'all, y'all know the story, but you know, that's why they did what they did. My question is to Esau, why don't you hurry up and create a more grand, grandiose false flag and let's get this thing going, man. You know, you got the, the brothers that are hastening the day. Go ahead and just come up with something here. On a greater scale than what, you know, so-called 9-11, you know, manifested itself. You know, everybody was shook in that day. Me personally, I was shook myself. You know, I was still in the world. I didn't know no better. And I almost, I was leaning to join the service because of that nonsense, man. You see how lost in the sauce, you know, Jake can be? And I praise and I thank Yahweh about Shimmy Hawa for waking me up. You know, I didn't wake up until years after, but, you know, I didn't, you know, go on impulse and join the military and would have gotten my head blown off for, for nothing. Just to guard poppy fields and, you know, oil fields for the most part. So Esau, you know, you're good at doing what you're doing, you know, to set up what your main objective is. I'm going to go Jeremiah. I'm going to go chapter 16 i'm gonna read verse 18 all right 
And first I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land. They have filled mine inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. So you're going to get, you know, paid back for the things you do. I could give a fuck about you setting up this false flag and, you know, killing, you know, murdering all those people. You know, it's just a lot. You know, you see them motherfuckers jumping off, jumping out of the windows and shit. Man, that's a grievous death. But, you know, every every last one of them people that died, you know, there was a just judgment. All right. And y'all in the world, y'all ain't going to get that. And as far as Esau going over there, you know, taking over poppy fields and oil over there and killing a lot of those Ishmaelites and a lot of Edomites that are over there, you know, fuck them too. I could give a fuck, you know. But as far as you, you know, dealing with the nation of Israel, you're going to be recompensed for that. And you're going to get double. And the Lord is going to have Going to, going to have to put a heavy spirit on you to, you know, survive that double recompense. Because I'm going to be a very uh, austere and strict ruler, you know, in the kingdom to come. All right. And I'm going to definitely rule with that rod of iron per the scriptures. So it's going to have to be a heavy spirit on you to, you know, dwell amongst me and, you know, pick my cotton and pick my grapes and figs and pomegranate. All right. Cause I'm gonna put hell on you, man. Cause you put hell on me and my people in the reincarnation. I'm gonna go to the last verse. Like I say, it's just, just quick, quick hit, man. Real quick hit. John. And I'm gonna go to chapter eight. I'm gonna read verse 44. And then th this is Esau. You know, this is, this is what he's bred to do. This is, this is, all he does, man. All right. He can't help himself because the Lord programmed his spirit to be his soul. And he is the perfect whipping stick, the perfect devil created. Ye are the father of the devil and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh his own for he is a liar and the and the father of it all right father of all lies you know lying today you know lying about this 9 11 you know we should remember and never forget you know terrorists from another part of the planet you know came over here flew on planes and everything and after the rubble after the dust settled you know you are able to find identifications cards of amongst this rubble you know but there was fire and you know brimstone you know rubble but you were able to find identification cards made of plastic all right you lying motherfucker man and you still got dumbass americans that believe this bullshit man all right but you know you're gonna get your recompense so just bask in your memorials for 9-11 the so-called holla hoax you know you don't want to forget that but for Jake, nigga, get over it, move on, be glad that you're still living under my rulership. You could be somewhere else in a third world country, all right? He's how you're going to get it. Hope you brothers were edified. Fuck America, death to America. Shalom.